So the third leg of the Per Timps Hurdle Qualifier is next in. This is a 3 mile 0 to 120 and the top one is Fallon Gong, Darren Thompson. Fallout lad, David Robertson, Reflect, he's a rarity. Doug Warren, Watchdog, Kevin Meanhand, Dresden Dynamo, Carla Ragante, Amoya Super, Alex Cherry, Tomorrow's World, Daniel French, Grain Ambience, Darren House, Judas Priest, Martin Leedham, Nickel Coin, Darren House, Thunder, Derek Hinton, Martin's Music, Stu Gray, Radio Missile, Alex Cherry, Excellent Dan, Doug Warren, Quack, Kevin Minahan, and the bottom two are both James Follis's, Trabago and Montoya. And they're being called in then. And away they go. This bright sunny day. And this will be the first to show. Looks like it might be Trabago. But on the outside, it's the Hollywood Hinton Horse Thunder that goes to the fore. That's not the first time we've said that this season. And Thunder's going to take them along then. So no sign of any Thunder today as Thunder takes us over the first. And Grain Ambience is in second place. Darren Howes has been having a good week at Ascot. And, um, I hope he can get some wins on the board on the jumps today. And Thunder's in the lead then for Derek Hinton with Amoya Supers come through on the inside to take second. Trabago is also close up as we get a view from the roof. See a long distance shot of them all skipping over flight number two and coming past the winning pose. You can see how short the running is going to be in a couple of circuits time. Thunder is a good five lengths clear of Grain Ambience in the orange jacket second. And wider still there is excellent dance. So the two of these running quite wide again as they take number three and they're all safely over that one with Montoya now just the back marker but Thunder's in the lead then from Watchdog in second Trabago is third and Dynamo Dresden is four then Amoya Super and Grain Ambience after that one with Radio Missile Excellent Down is next the favourite Judas Priest is also running pretty wide on the track and Fallon Gong is just the back marker now and as they come to flight four and over that one they all go all hurdling well and Thunder taking them along on a fair old clip to the Grey Reflect he's a rarity in second Grain Ambience in the orange jacket on the outside is third, then Trabago, the first of the James Follis horses, with Watchdog on that one's outside. The two nearest to us on the rail are Amoya Super and Fallout Lad. Excellent Down is wide on the track with Radio Missile on that one's inside, then wider still is Judas Priest as they take the next. And they will skip over that one with Tomorrow's World and Montoya, the back two. And Thunder's lead is down to about three lengths now. Reflect, he's a rarity in second as they come back up the straight. The circuit. The two circuits actually to go after this one as they skip over that. Thunder in the lead. And reflect, he's a rarity second. We get a bit of jockey cam action on the back of Quack see just how wide some of these horses are running you can see there the dog's horse on the right to reflect he's a rarity is probably eight horse horse widths off the rail which may not appear to be a lot but when you're taking turns as tight as I mean look at this turn this is a really tight turn here and if you're wide you're really losing a lot of ground Thunder isn't losing any ground he skips over that one in the lead well clear, Montoya's been pulled up. Incidentally, so Thunder the leader then as we go back to a sensible view, and Quack, who we were on earlier, has just been pulled up as well. So the pull-ups are starting then, and Thunder is in the lead. Some more strange pull-ups again this week, with one or two always being pulled up inside the final two or three furlongs, which is not normally get pulled up as late as that, and uh, some horses in good positions have been pulled up as well. As I take the ninth then, and Thunder's still the leader from Dresden Dynamo in second. The Grey Tomorrow's World has moved right through into third, hoping to make it today's world with Radio Missile and Watchdog on the inside of that one. And the field's fairly tightly grouped. You can see Reflect He's a Rarity. No, it's excellent Dan, sorry. Excellent Dan and Judas Priest are very, very wide. Fallon Gong has given up the ghost and has thrown in the towel for the day as they take the 10th. That'll be the last on the next circuit. And it's a pretty tight track. This is a race off for one more circuit and you can see that really really tight bend there look and these ones on the outside are really losing so much ground it's 
It'll be quite interesting to see at the end of the race how far they're beaten by as they take the 11th. And over that one they go. Martin's music struggling at the back, even though that one isn't wide. But uh, it's a good six lengths off the rest of them. But Thunder's the leader, then Tomorrow's World is second. Dresden Dynamo is third and four. That lad is four. Here you go around a turn. Uh, just look at these wide ones. They're losing lengths around that bend. And Thunder's the leader. Tomorrow's World is second as they take the third from home. Then Dresden Dynamo, Fallout Lad, Great Ambience. The other well, Grey is trying to move up a little bit closer, but it's still Thunder they've got to get by. But on the inside, look at Fallout Lad. Fallout Lad, and Fallout Lad's got the inside, and you can see how much ground he's making on. You watch this turn, then now when they come around here, Fallout Lad will probably come out of this turn two lengths clear. It's Fallout Lad in the lead from Thunder in second. Then comes Nickel Coin in tomorrow's world, Trabago and Watchdog. Martin's music's been pulled up over the second last they go, and Fallout Lad has gone clear. Fallout Lad from Trabago, who's chasing in second. Tomorrow's World is third. Thunder looks beaten now. Then Watchdog and Radio Missile, Nickel, Nickel Corner and Mer Super. But Fallout Lad's got away from them. He's racing down towards the final flight. It's a short one, even with less than a third to go. And Fallout Lad looks like he's going to take this one for David Robertson. Fallout Lad's three lengths clear. That manoeuvre on the home turn on the inside put the, put the race to bed, really. And Fallout Lad is clear. Tomorrow's World is trying to chase, but it's a forlorn hope. So Fallout Lad wins it. Tomorrow's World second. Watchdog, Thunder, Nickel Corner. Trabago reflecting the rarity next and I think they're fall out loud for David Rawson good bit of jockey ship there from the jockey getting that one on the inside for the home turn tomorrow's world second for Daniel French watchdog third for Kevin Meanahan Trabago was fourth for James Follis Thunder for Derek Hinton was fifth if your horse was wide in that race don't worry about the form just come on to go next week because that was the uh, I think you were beaten by the course